Deep learning has shown great success in many computer vision tasks, such as image generation, image segmentation on 2D and 3D data. In image segmentation tasks, an encoder-decoder network is commonly used. The encoder part tries to extract high-level features from raw data, and the decoder part tries to recover features to the original spatial side. In the decoder part, deconvolutional layers are often used for upsampling feature maps. Especially, 3D deconvolutional layers are often used for 3D segmentation tasks. Given an input tensor, eight intermediate feature maps are generated independently, and then those feature maps are periodically shuffled and combined together to form final output. However, there are checkerboard artifact issues in 3D deconvolutional layers due to the independently generated feature maps. To solve this problem, we propose the voxel deconvolutional layer. Instead of generating intermediate feature maps independently, this layer generates intermediate feature maps sequentially. Each feature map is generated based on already existing feature maps. And then those feature maps are periodically shuffled and combined together to get final output. We also provide an efficient implementation of voxel deconvolutional layer to reduce the computation cost. Given an input tensor, the first feature map is generated directly from input, and then the second feature map is generated from the first one. After that, three feature maps are generated in parallel from the first two feature maps. Finally, the last three feature maps are generated from the first five feature maps. These generated feature maps are combined together within four steps to get final output. We demonstrate the performance of our method on two public datasets, which are widely used for 3D brain image labeling tasks. We use the UNET as our baseline and replace 3D deconvolutional layers in UNET with voxel deconvolutional layers as our proposed architecture. The experimental results show that our proposed method achieves improved performance in all experiments. Compared with the baseline method, it increases 1.39% in terms of dice ratio on ADNI dataset. It also increases 2.21% on learning LPBA40 dataset. Overall, the experiments demonstrate the effectiveness of our method 